Happy Thursday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. So today was therapy day. My individual therapy every Thursday. And I missed it last week because it was so bitterly cold. So it was good to get to go this week. And Little Miss definitely enjoyed getting a break from the other cats. She normally will, as soon as, when I go to therapy, part of the thing is that um, I bring a treat for the therapist to give to Little Miss. So we're, you know, trying to bribe Little Miss into being a little bit more sociable. And speaking of the little devil, um, hey, um, sorry, she sidetracks me all the time. Yes, you do. Yep. But anyway, so I always have a treat for the therapist to give to Little Miss. And usually after she gets her treat, she might play for a couple minutes and then she goes off to a corner and just sits there and takes a nap. And this time she did, and she hung out in the middle of the, the little therapy area, careful, and for a little longer, and she kept rolling and, you know, rolling over my legs and, or over my feet and just, you know, rubbing her, you know, flopping her head back on my foot and just being the cat that she's not normally at therapy. So I think she was just enjoying having a break from everyone else. So I think, you know, she's doing good. We did have, um... Some more, if you can see it there, you know, there was blood again. Um, this time, my my wonderful, oh so calm, pleasant little Miss No Name got scared by a shirt that fell. Now, I don't know if you can, let me pick it up real quick. Do you see the shirts hanging right there? Yeah, over there. I was trying to point to it with my finger like, like you'd actually be able to see that. So anyway, I walked past, I was holding her because we were getting ready to go to bed the other night. And I was holding her and I walked past one of those, uh, walked past the shirts and the bumped one and it fell. And apparently that was enough to scare her to high heaven. And she got me on my belly and on my arm. So... It bled for a little bit, but not as not as long as the nose did. The nose one, it's pretty much healed now. But geez, that nose bled forever. So anyway, so today was therapy. And one of the things I talked to my therapist about was, I don't know if, if <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys are aware of this or not, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the insurance company, has a fitness program. And you pay an enrollment fee of $25, and then after that it's $25 a month. And it gives you access to gym memberships at all these different gyms. Um, Planet Fitness, the YMCA, Gold's Gym, this new gym out in my area called Vasa Fitness. Uh, Mademoiselle, if you're female. Excuse me. So, and I had done it before, and it was a good thing. I mean, it, it's a really good deal. Twenty, You know, you get access to all these gyms for 25 bucks a month. I mean, you can't get... I mean, some of the gyms have, like, the $10 a month feature, but, you know, you're still limited to just that particular chain, particular chain. So, anyway, so what I did, we talked to a therapist about, because we, you know, me getting back into gym and getting physically active would be good for me. Um, anything that gets me out of the house on a regular basis is good for me. And so, and then I also know, you know, with depression and anxiety, exercise helps. I mean, it's not going to cure it, but it's going to make it, it's going to help it. So we decided that we're going to join the, I'm going to join back up with the fitness program and I'm giving myself an incentive to go beyond the fact that I can log my activity, my exercise with my fitness pal or with Google fit and earn reward points through well on target, which is another program blue cross does. But my incentive that I'm doing is for every day that I either spend an hour in therapy, which there's, I have two, two different days that I have a group therapy and one day a week that I have individual therapy. So that's three days right there. So I have to spend either an hour at therapy or an hour at the gym. And I would get, I get one to go, I get to buy one skinny yarn a day. Not, not, I'm not going to buy it every day, but each day that I do that, I get to buy one skin of yarn for a maximum of $20 a week of yarn. Now, if I buy, um, um, Mainstays yarn, that's $1.99 a skein. So I wouldn't be hitting my $20. Now I can't sit there and save up my $20 from one week and spend it the next week. It's, you know, 
use it or lose it each week. And so there may be some weeks that I'm getting seven skeins, but I'm not spending 20 bucks. There may be some weeks that I'm spending 20 bucks, but I'm not getting seven skeins. If I can ever get a pair set out exactly where I'm getting my seven skeins plus my spending my 20 bucks, I would be impressed. So now if I double up and say if I go to the gym and therapy in one day, I don't get to double up on the yarn. So it's just a maximum of seven skeins. And that could be, I'm not counting my eBay yarn on that because that's the little itty bitty 50 gram balls. Um, the average, you know, and so it could be anywhere from like, you know, 100 grams or, you know, you know, up to, I'm not going to go count, you know, the, the monster balls of yarn. Because um, I would also would probably, I don't think you can get a monster ball for less than 20 bucks. But, you know, I mean, you know, just common sense with what yarn I'm getting. So I can, you know, I can still buy my yarn, but I'm making healthy decisions and pushing myself out of my comfort zone right now. So, so that we're starting in today. The yarn that I just bought for Michaels yesterday doesn't count towards my 20 because I wasn't involved. I hadn't joined the gym, but because I joined the gym last week, we, we agreed that going to therapy today counted for my, today counts, yesterday didn't. So I've earned my one skein for today, which means tomorrow, I guess I get to go to um, Vasa Gym, which is the gym, it's about two miles from my house, but it's a new one. It used to be a grocery store and they cut out some, cut out part of it. Anyway, they got rid of the grocery store and somehow they have <laughs> jackhammers and went out there. There's a swimming pool and a, spa, a whirlpool and whatnot in there. They also have studios for classes. Um, so I'm not sure if I get to do all of the, every single perk, or if it's just like the basic, you know, group classes and weights and, you know, cardio area. So I'll find out tomorrow. Um, worst, I mean, if not, then, you know, I, I can go to, there's a YMCA not far from, uh, not far from where I live, so I could go there as well. Actually, there's several YMCA's pretty close by. So, anyway, now, sorry, Max is being a twerp now. Um, so acquisitions. Now I was talking yesterday about the yarn, or the the thimble ring thingy. This is just trying to. So it's just part of it, and you just stick it on. I like this better than the full size yarn um, thimble. One, it's adjustable back there so I can make it fit how I want it. So it can fit on multiple fingers wherever I need it. So I like it. It, it does take a while for me to get used to it. But like when I made Chuck's Santa hat from hell, I wore this for so much. Actually, I think I wore it on this finger. But I had it on so long that I would be done working on his hat and still be wearing the thimble ring because I just would forget to have it on. Another thing I got... Because these are, I mean, the metal, where is the, I'm trying to find, figure out where my, um, the camera lens is. Just the metal yarn needles. I know that everyone swears by these things. And the only reason I got them is because they're dirt cheap. Because I've used plastic ones for so long, and I'm so used to them that, you know, they're fine. And then plus, when you can't have a crochet hook when you're flying out of Cozumel and you need a MacGyver one, you can't do that with one of these. Or if you couldn't make a crochet hook on the plane, I'm pretty sure you couldn't get on the plane with one of these. So I have two of these vials that have different sizes in there, just different lengths, whatnot. And you little twerp. Hang on. Okay. David, if you're watching this before you get home, what in the world is this thing? It's in the sink. I don't know if it's trash or not. Max is obsessed with it. He keeps getting it and hauling it off into the bedroom. I found it in the bedroom. I found it in the living room. I found it under your Christmas tree. It's all over the place. I don't know what it is. And Max is going after it again already. So anyway, so I've got... No, you can't. You obnoxious little cat. 
So I've got um, 18 of these, not 18 vials, 18 needles, so two vials of nine. Plus, I have another nine more, nine or 12 more coming that I that forgot that I had ordered these when I ordered the others. So, you know, they're small. I have room to store them. Now, as far as finished objects, I finished the messenger bag. This is using a one size hook down. I'd have to get the, ouch, um, I'd actually have to go look what hook it is. I can't remember offhand. I believe it is one, it might be two sizes smaller than what the skein, the label in the skein actually calls for. But it left me, the bag, it's roughly, this part, 15 by 15 inches. And, you know, it's a little stretchy. Um, but it's a good size. I don't know that I could put it over my head. Um you know, like a crossbody. I mean, I could, but it's really awkward. And if there's anything in there, it's going to be all up under my armpit, not comfortable. But it, it's just good for over, you know, just over one arm. You see where it comes out like that. So I'm happy with that. And then I finished the crochet, just a simple pattern, one row of um, half doubles, you skip a stitch, but then the stitches that you don't skip, you're doing two in, so you're always staying with, always ending the row with 35 stitches. But you do one row of half doubles, and then the other row is single crochet. And I'd have to look to see where I got the pattern from. But it's a simple one. I just did a little border around it. And it's roughly seven by seven. I need to see what it's going to be like after I wash and dry it. Um, I may need to go up. A hook size since I crochet tightly because it's not as it's kind of dense right now which I mean it'd make a good scrubby I think but if I was looking for a washcloth it's a little too calm a little too dense for just a washcloth now I do have these this one the TARDIS if you can see it in there um it's roughly eight by seven and this is knit instead of crochet and I like it um, so you again, like, you know, I need to wash to see how it feels well, after it's washed. They're, both of these are cotton. This is the, some of the cotton I got from Mexico. This is, um, cotton I bought from Walmart. And then the one that was in the time lapse or the, the hyperspeed video, it says don't blink. And you can kind of see it. In there it's it's not it's easier to see the TARDIS than it is to see the don't blink and the don't when you can see the don't blink it's when it's at an angle like I can read the don't real easily now um this one is roughly eight and a half by six inches so but it's the yarn prior to working it when it's still on the skein the yarn between these two feels similar but it's just this feels so much softer and flexible than this. I mean, this probably would make a good um, light pot holder as, as stiff and dense as it feels. But, you know, I mean, if I end up just using it as a scrubby, I usually use it as a scrubby. So, but those are the projects that I have finished. I haven't messed with the Baby Yoda Amigurumi yet. I'm waiting until I get back home just because I need some light. And then now the light in the kitchen is bright enough. But I don't want to sit in the kitchen and crochet all day when the TV's in the living room. Although, I mean, I could bring my laptop in and use it. But I started another, um, I mean, you can't really see anything right now. It's just whatever... Um, garter stitch at this point but it is the pavilion washcloth and this is a free pattern by Gentol Knits and websites gentolknits.com so and but it's like let's see if you can see that this the just an interesting little pattern that I want to try just I figure get a variety of um 
different, you know, cloths to, you know, scrubby cloths to clean with at home. Because I'd rather use that than be using uh, paper towels all the time because, you know, I can always throw these in the washer and clean them at the end of them. I don't have to throw them out like, you are, like you're going to do with a washer and dryer. And I would rather reusable, so which is why I'm really, really liking the market bag. So anyway, and I am using, these are the needles that, some of the needles that Sabrina sent me from England. And I'm liking them. They are they're metal, but they're just so smooth and easy to knit with. So the upcoming plans, David and Chuck's coming back Saturday evening. So tomorrow and Saturday, I'm going to make sure the house is nice and tidy so they have a, you know, clean space to come home to because, you know, it's always nice to come home and not have to immediately worry about, you know, making, you know, cleaning up a mess or anything. And especially if it's not even your mess. And the house hasn't got messy. I, I've made my nest around the spot where I'm sitting on the couch. And then the nest in the room that the, the guest bedroom that I sleep in. Other than that, I mean, the house is fairly little clean. So it's just a matter of tidying up and figuring out which cat is having the um, hairball issue. I'm pretty sure it's Bowser because he's the one with long hair. And he's also the one I've seen do the ah, ah, thing. So um, I'm sure y'all wanted to see me hawk up a hairball. Hey, buddy. There's... This is, whoa, what was that about? That, buddy. Okay, buddy, I'm putting you down. Buddy is not usually, I've, that's the first time Buddy's been like that to me. Now well, he and Max are going to get into it. So anyway, Buddy used to be a chewer when he was a kitten, so... Maybe I just found the magic chew button and, and, you know, went back to that instinct. Who knows? So anyway, so tomorrow and Saturday has been tidying up, you know, get, taking the stuff that I brought over here, getting it back to my house so that when David and Chuck get home, you know, we don't have to load up a whole huge car full of my stuff to take me back. Um, I'm going to go check out um, Vasa Fitness tomorrow or Vasa and, um, See, if they have a spin class tomorrow evening that if the classes are included in the type of membership with the Blue Cross Blue Shield program, then I will probably go to that class. If not, then I may just do a little bit of cardio and um, some light weights. I need to come up with a figure out, like, I need to go Google a lifting routine just so I can kind of have a guideline to get me started. Otherwise, I'll just stand there and look at everything that there is to do and get overwhelmed and just say, screw it, go home. So, and then my sister is coming back to the States on the 29th. So I'm kind of excited. I know that she wasn't, she wasn't really planning on being back this early, but, you know, she's got some errands and some stuff that she's got to take care of. And so, um, I can hopefully talk her into going to that yarn group on Sundays with me, and then I would still be able to go. If not, there's another group that happens in another little social crafty thing that happens in Midwest City with the lady that teaches um, at Joanne. So we may get involved with some of that stuff. So anyway, this video has gone on long enough for me just sitting here rambling. I will see you guys again tomorrow.